Hi, today I want to go over a specific neighborhood in Leesburg, some market statistics and some information that you might find useful. So here is Leesburg, and we're going to go ahead and zoom right into the neighborhood. Let me pull that down here, and you can see that this is the Dallas Toll Road there. And here is the neighborhood called Stratford. And there is actually three different uh, legal subdivisions in there. And there are condos, so we have condos right here. We have single family homes right here. We have townhomes right here. We have an additional, the Stratford by itself, the, the townhomes. And then we have single family homes right here. And you're gonna see that there's uh, trails right here that goes around the lake, etc. So let's look at some statistics because a lot of people are pretty interested about um, house prices there. We have a few people looking um, and trying to understand pricing to different ones. So let's take a look. So here again, I wanted to show you the legal subdivisions that are there. There are four. The one is Stratford Land Bay C. Those are the townhomes here in the green. The Westchester of Stratford, also known as the Stratford Club, are the condos. And they're located right here. And then the Stranford Land Bay D homes are right here in the yellow. And then you've got in the blue Stratford townhomes and Stratford homes across the street. So those are under one townhome. So when, you're, when we're going to be looking at the statistics, you're going to see that I've actually divided them up by the legal subdivision. Uh, you can also look at the overall as well. But we like to group them per land. Uh, or subdivision so that we can have a better understanding of pricing. So let's take a look. All right, so here's a report that you can download and get actual details of each of these. So what I've done is I've actually taken and calculated the average actual sold price. Now that is the closed price minus the seller's subsidy. And all of this information is straight from our MRIS. So um, a lot of people want to know not just the close price, but they want to know the actual price so that they can better gauge you know, the actual values and what people are netting. So here's a Stratford, and these are the number of bedrooms. So two, three, four, five, six bedrooms, and then the different pricing. And you can see the pricing trends per year. So I've gone all the way back to 2015, 2016, and 2017. All right, um, the land base C, as you remember, that was the one on the one side. Um, those are the single family homes. I'm sorry, those are the, the townhomes. The Stanford Land Bay D is the detached homes. Um, so those are the single family homes. And you can see, you know, there's four or five bedrooms here. Obviously, if nothing sold in there um, in specific years, you'll see that area as blank. All right. And then the Westchester of Stratford, which are the condos, and you can see that. Um, those are the prices there, nothing in 2016. So let's look at what else is involved. This is a seven page report and I try to include everything in there but if I'm missing something or if you're looking for something specific, please email me or text me, better texting me, and let me know what you're looking for and I can slice and dice the data for you. So this again is the actual uh, sold price per subdivision per year. So here, what I've done is I've actually did um, number of transactions, which is the counting of the actual sold, number of transactions for the Stratford, Lambay C, Lambay D, and the condos. Okay, so for each year, I, did, I broke it down so that you can see the average actual price. So this is the average, not the median. We did the average, then we did the minimum uh, actual price, maximum actual price, average days on the market, and average days on the market for the property. Now the difference between that is the DOMM is the uh, days on the market since the last listing. All right, and then the days on the market for the property is if you, let's say, took it off the market and put it back, or if you had another agent list it, that actually counts the days for the, for the property total. So it gives us a better gauge of even though, you know, one agent tried to market it, it was on the market for a while, and then the other agent took it, or maybe you took it off the market for a little bit, but we have a good gauge and understanding on, worst case scenario, how many days on the market for that specific type of property. So that's the other one, and the next one is the types of transactions. So we want to look at the potential short sales, uh, foreclosures, REOs, 
because those will uh, obviously um, need to be looked at when you're doing pricing so that you're cognizant of um, the lower prices. And then the standard sale, which is just a regular sale. And let's see what else we have. And the, the rest from four to seven um, are all the details. So you can actually go in here and look at the address, uh, the original list date, the closing date, the closing price. You can see the seller subsidy, the actual sold, um, the HOA fees, the condo fees, number of bedrooms, and some of the things that really impact um, obviously are, you know, if you have garages in your condos, um, if you have uh, major upgrades in your home, etc. So these are just numbers. And we always, always want to make sure you guys understand that it, this is just one side of the equation. This is just numbers, but it's a great place to start and start from there and then you build up. And that's what appraisers do. That's what we do as real estate agents. We have this information and we start from here. And then we look at, okay, what's sold, how much of the updates and upgrades did they have? Did they have a garage? Did they have something? You know, anything that adds value to the property. Of course, some intrinsic things like the views, um, the layout, the open layout, etc. They all play into how fast the home sells as well, as well as how well it's decorated. Uh, you know, staging also plays a, a huge um, impact on how fast it sells. So again, here uh, you can see some additional details. and total square footage, uh, you know, how many fireplaces, bathrooms, half baths, levels, garage spaces, um, the age, days on the market we talked about, and uh, the style and uh, taxable living area, and then the total square footage. So if you have a basement, if you don't have a basement, etc. So download this report. We hope you find it beneficial. Like I said, if we're missing anything or if you're interested in selling or buying in this neighborhood, please give me a call and make it a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.